Hi there, I'm Dale Mathis coming to you from my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. And today I have a Mexican folk tune, Cielita Linda. And this tune is part of the Play Accordion by Ear series. This is lesson number 14 or number 14. And at my website, DaleMathisAccordion.com, you will find the sheet music for this. And even though you cannot read the sheet music and you don't need to read the sheet music, it'll be helpful if you download it because it'll have the fingering and it'll make this tune easier to play, especially because I'm incorporating some double notes. You gotta play two notes at one time. Whoa, a step up, right? Okay, so let me play the tune first and then we'll get into it and talk about it. So here we go. I'm playing it today on the little Roland FR1X. This is the little 14 pound accordion. So here we go. get into it and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things on the sheet music first of all. Um, some new uh, theory terminology. Right here there's this double line with the two little dots on it and there's another one down here at the end of the song. That means that this section of the song gets repeated. That's actually called a repeat sign. So as far as the chords, uh, you've already had all of those. C chord, G chord, D minor, G7, and that's all of them. Okay, so I've got the fingering uh, written in on this piece of sheet music. So you're going to start with your little pinky finger and put it on this C. And it goes just the melody first. Got a little switch, a little stretch, and put your little finger on the B. And then move your hand down to get to your little finger on the G. And then it goes to the section where you've got double notes. So you're going to put your little finger on E and you notice how your hand just lies flat on these keys and use your third finger to play the C. So it's and then your fourth and second finger are right ready to play the next notes and your third finger and your thumb are ready to play the next notes. So let me play that. And then your thumb to play the A note. Let me play that with the accompaniment. So that's how it sounds. Let me do it again. And now your fourth finger and second finger are already in place to play the D and the B. Stretch your hand and get your little finger up to an F 
and your third finger right underneath it will play the D. And here you play the D alone. Stretch your fingers, second finger on B. Stretch your fingers, thumb on G. And here you squish your hand together to play the little finger on A. And then you have that repeat sign, and so you go back to measure 17, and you play it over again. Stretch. And then squish your hand together to play the A. Okay, so everything else in the song we've already talked about, so let me play it uh, very slowly and you might want to try playing just your right hand or just your left hand with this part of the recording just so that you get the sense of it. So here we go, I'll give you three beats, one, two, three. song. Now another tricky thing that happens during this tune um, that you got to watch out for like I'm going to point out in this at the end of this first line here one two three four five six seven this is measure seven and you see you're playing a D minor chord and while you're holding the D in the melody your chord changes to a G7 chord. So just for a moment, let's go over those chords again. So again, C is the one with the divot in it, and the major chords are right behind. Let's turn off the drum sounds. So it's C bass and chord, and then chord, and it's three quarter time. And then the next measure is the G bass and chord, so you raise your fingers up one set and come back to the C, go up to the G, down to the C, and the next one is D minor, so you've got to skip the G and go up to D and pull your finger, your um, second, what finger is that, third finger, uh, back, and so it's this. Does that sound right? There it was. So that's what it should sound like. And then the next chord is G7, so you got to move down the row and spread your fingers apart to get this chord sound. And you've got that again for the next measure and the next measure. And now back up to D minor. Back down to G7, 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 C. And then where those double notes start at measure 17, that is uh, C chord. 
then now you got to go down to an F chord. I think this is the only place in the song. Yes, it's the only place in the song where you play an F chord, and it's called F major. So you, it's down below the C. Now you got a big jump because you have to go from the F all the way up to the D minor, and then down to the G7, C. More C, G7, C, together, and then you do the repeat. So, all right, so again, let me bring this up. Um, the sheet music for this is at my website, dalemathisaccordion.com. And you click on the free lessons tab, which is off in the right hand corner if you're using a desktop computer. And all the uh, videos for all of these lessons, they're listed there along with you can see the sheet music, plus there's a PDF that you can download so you can uh, move to your favorite chair or wherever and look at the fingering numbers so that you get a better idea of what fingers to use so that uh, you end up with smoother sound. If you just use the same finger or two every time, everything sounds jerky. So let's just do that. Just so that you don't do this. You don't want that. <laughs> so try and use all five of your fingers. Alrighty, so thanks so much for watching. Again, this is lesson number 14, play by ear in the Dale Mathis series. Thank you so much.